you look at psychiatric literature uh, as a whole, there's almost no mention in it of the non-human world, as if it just doesn't matter. Indeed, you find extreme examples of this uh, in a development following uh, World War II existential therapy, for example. It is simply assumed that human beings exist in a condition of alienation from nature. So if you look beyond the modern Western schools of psychiatry, uh, you find that in traditional societies, among primary people, the people you at once used to call primitives, that it is understood that sanity and madness have to be defined always in relationship to the natural habitat. That there has to be a balance between the psyche and the natural world around us. At a very deep level, the human psyche is grafted to the planet out of which we evolved. That there is what I call an ecological unconscious. And that indeed, if that were not there, our species could not have survived and evolved uh, as it has. There is a madness involved in urban industrial society that has to do with our lack of balance and integration with the natural environment, that this might be an interesting baseline to use for the definition of sanity as we move into the next century. But at this point, that is still to be worked out.